newcomer, Astraspis, one of only a few primitive fish species on Earth. Just six inches long, this small creature could fit in the palm of your hand. But this animal has a mutation never before seen on Earth, a primitive backbone. Astraspis fossils unearthed in the early 20th century revealed a fibrous sheath along its back used to protect a spinal cord. The very same structure is in our own bodies. It's hard to believe, but this lowly creature is the ancestor of every vertebrate on the planet today. Birds, reptiles, mammals, man. Our existence is entirely dependent on the survival of this single group. And so far, the odds are not in its favor. These are creatures which worked very efficient in many ways. They certainly were not predators. They could eat scum and microbes and algae, and they were prey. At the other end of the food chain, a super predator rules the seas. A merciless killer feared by all. The straight nautiloid. These are obligate carnivores. These are things that eat meat and always want meat. A 12-footer would be unbelievably scary. You would be swimming for your life, and this thing would be chasing you, and it would eat you if it could catch you. The great white shark of its time, the nautiloid is a perfectly designed killing machine. Up to 20 feet long, with an insatiable hunger, a straight-chambered shell filled with air keeps this 300-pound beast buoyant. It slices through the sea by inhaling water, then forcing it out through a small muscular tube at the base of the shell. It's the Ordovician world's version of a jet engine, but with a strange twist. Nautiloids swim far more efficiently backwards. They have a jet propulsion system, so it's not a constant swimming like a fish. It's like a little piston that swim, 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 swim. You're in the water with a nautiloid. You see the back of a shell. You have to go all the way around it to see the swimming part because the head, the tentacles, everything goes backwards. Though nautiloids reign supreme, there is competition. Giant sea scorpions called Eurypterids routinely challenge the nautiloids for the best feeding grounds. As repulsive and hideous as scorpions on land are, I think they would not hold a candle in nastiness to the sea scorpions. These things were huge. You had probably two or three hundred pound monsters. These are the biggest arthropods in the history of the planet. Eurypterids are enormous, six feet long, with some as heavy as an NFL lineman. Their legs, called chelicerae, are covered in bristly spines. The last chelicerae are flattened, forming a type of fin used for swimming. Facing off against a nautiloid, it's like a death match straight out of science fiction. I think you could probably sell tickets to a fight between those two. I'd give anything to see a big after a tangle with a big nautiloid. But everything is about to change. Forever. The death rays have already penetrated our solar system and seared through the asteroid belt. A gamma ray burst hitting Earth is so rare, scientists believe it only happens once every 500 million years. This one will strike before the day is done. Controversial theory proposes that a massive gamma ray burst may have struck our planet 450 million years ago.
forever altering the destiny of life on Earth. Gamma rays, a form of electromagnetic radiation like X-rays, are catastrophic. Traveling at the speed of light, it takes just hours for the gamma ray burst to traverse the entire solar system. For the creatures of Earth, there is no warning before the gamma ray burst hits. This is zero hour. The gamma ray burst rips into the upper reaches of the atmosphere with astronomical force. But it's as ferocious as it is beautiful. The deadly rays shatter air molecules, literally blasting the atmosphere apart. Just consider the nuclear arsenals of the United States and Russia. If you were to set up all of those bombs simultaneously, the amount of energy that would be released is just a tiny drop in the bucket of the amount of energy that would be released during a gamma ray burst. Just 10 seconds after it began, the light show gives way to an eerie calm. It is broad daylight, but there is a strange companion star next to our sun. This is the burning embers of the supernova, an extra light in the sky that will flicker for a few months, then disappear. With no animals on land, the light show passes unnoticed, an awesome spectacle played to an empty theater. Life seems to go back to normal. 